got an Olympic boost. All right, it has been a long and emotional journey for figure skater Aliona Sevchenko. The 34-year-old German now competing in her fifth Winter Games, despite the fact that she has won five world championships. She's never won an Olympic gold. But today, alongside her partner, Bruno Masso, she did just that. The couple earned the highest score ever recorded in Olympic pairs free skate history. That combined with their short program won the Germans a gold. You've got to check out the reaction when they found out. At the end of this long journey in her fifth Olympics, Aljona Sevchenko wins a gold medal. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> All right, get that outpouring of emotion is there. It's joy. It's 20 years in the making. Sevchenko won bronze in 2010 and 2014. But you know what? You got to win an Olympic gold that was decades in the making. Wow. And um, oh, she's going to be reliving that moment for a long, <laughs> long time. <laughs> she had all the feels, she as really the millennials did. say. Yep. Al, what's going on? Well, let's check your weather. First of all, show you what we've got happening. Starting with the radar, you can see a lot of wet weather making its way through the southwest. Some snow through the plains and off into the northern Rockies. And wet weather making its way into the Ohio River Valley. Temperature-wise, eastern two-thirds of the country and down through the Gulf Coast, we're looking at temperatures in the 80s and 70s throughout a good portion of that part of the country, but much chillier through the plains. Afternoon highs today, and as we look at sky conditions, we do expect some light snow making its way through the northern plains. Record highs in the central part of the country. Foggy along the Gulf Coast. Wet weather in the upper Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys, and that heavy rain, monsoon moisture coming up out of Mexico into the southwest. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Well, temperatures shooting right on up. In fact, we're going to be right around 70 degrees today. So before noon, we're already going to be in the low 60s. And right now, we're in the low 50s. Look at this here in the Shenandoah Valley, already nearing that 60 degree mark. So 70, definitely a possibility today. Spotty showers. I don't think it's going to be a lot. We'll have some chance for some rain tomorrow. And then on Saturday, a chance for a wintry mix in the afternoon, changing over to rain. Could be some icy spots by Sunday morning. And that's your latest weather, guys. All right, Al, thank you so much. And look who's here to say hello to us four women who represent Team USA. They, in they are getting ready to compete next week. Jamie Grupal Poser, Aja Evans won bronze in Sochi, Elena Myers Taylor won silver in Sochi and bronze in Vancouver, and Olympic rookie Lauren Gibbs is in the house, too. <laughs> Good morning, hey, ladies. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. How are you? How's the waiting? You know, your event hasn't happened yet. You're waiting. How are you feeling? Mixed emotions. We've been having a lot of fun hanging out and going to other events and kind of seeing all of our other friends compete, but now we're kind of like anticipating our time. You're yeah. ready. Yeah, you're ready. ready. Alana, yeah. your hubby's here, right? He's an alternate yeah. for the bobsled <laughs> team. You guys posted a cute pic on Valentine's Day. Is it Aww. nice having him here? Yeah, it's awesome having him here. He's my biggest support. And to go out and see Sean White win half pipe, what greater Valentine's Day? Look how cute you two are. are. You guys do <laughs> seem like you're having fun. You're not sitting around stressing out. You're taking in the Olympic experience. I'm selfies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lauren's like yeah. selfies everywhere. Well, you're the rookie, Lauren. How does that feel? I mean, I it's I'm 33 and <laughs> I'm at the Olympics for the first time. It's it's everything I could have imagined and more. Oh, Are incredible. you guys getting to meet the other athletes and do a little hang? Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> that's the fun part about living in the village is you get to meet so many different athletes from our own team, let alone other countries. So it's been fun to mingle. Yeah, no, we have two teams here. Uh huh. You seem tight, but when push comes to shove, <laughs> pun intended, <laughs> you are going to have to compete against each other. Is there a rivalry there, or is it just like we're all on the same oh, team, yeah. Jamie? It, well, it's been a great dynamic. Um, you know, we are the best team in the world, Team USA and bobsled, because we have such great athletes and because we push each other to be our best. Um, we have to work together. Our sleds weigh 365 pounds. So you can't <laughs> move that thing by yourself. So we all work together to get everything done. Um, but at the end of the day, we do have two teams competing for gold. And we've seen a double gold medal in bobsled before, so why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, now we're optimistic. So what happens, because your event is next week. We talked yeah. about the waiting. I mean, do you get to practice? Like, what do you, I mean, we know you're having fun, but. Yeah, how are you spending you know, your time? You know, serious business. Get your game face on. Yeah, we're doing our weightlifting and running and sprinting off the ice, and we had two runs before.